All right, let's see where this goes. Oh yeah, he's a commercial pilot and we're already back here. Interesting. And we're back to old age. Whoa. Atlanta Center, Cactus 135, cruising flight level 360. Cactus 135, Atlanta Center, Roger. Altimeter setting 3017. Have a good flight. Altimeter 3015. Thank you, Cactus 135. <sighs> well, got a nice tailwind going for us. Sir, now that we're in cruise, I just wanted to say... It's an honor to be here as your first officer on your final flight. This may be my first time as first officer, but I won't let you down. <laughs> it's all good. Rather poetic, really. Passing the baton and all. But you should know, as my co-pilot, there's only two things I ever want to hear from you. Two things, sir. Yep, there. Yes, Captain, and landing gear down. You're funny, sir. What did I just say? Y yes, Captain. <laughs> of course, I'm just messing with you. Just reminded me of back when I did my first flight as first officer, that's all. Man, my captain was a crazy mess. Yes, Captain. Hmm. You know I just said I was kidding, right? Yes, Captain. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna let my wife and son come in and sit for a bit if you don't mind. It's my last flight after all. They're not gonna get this view again. Yes, Captain. Irene, could you bring my family in? Thank you. If they first, first man, first pilot boy, no, you good? You, you chillin? Memento? Oh, I'll just take that. Flight regulations were still so chill back in the day, huh? Eh, times change. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of people on your flight. I guess that makes sense you wouldn't remember their faces. Hello, random people. <gasps> the flight attendant? Hello? Hello. So, what do you two say? One last round? Is it alright with management? Already approved. Special occasion and all. You heard him, Ma. Go, go, go. Flight attendant Irene? No? One more try. Okay, fair enough. So, you gonna miss the views? From the big birds? Sure. But it's not like I'm giving up the sky. Oh, don't you go renting the small planes. I don't trust you flying in them. Speaking of, I wish they gave you a bigger plane for the last flight of your career. Like, one of those monster double-deckers. Huh. Well, I asked for this particular one myself. I had my first flight with the airline in this. It was a different time back then. A time with lots of peanuts. I miss them so much. You know, Dad. All these years of flying and you never told me why you chose to be a pilot in the first place. Oh, I haven't, huh? Psst. Don't tell your mother, but it was to impress a girl. Yeah? Did it work? Sure, I guess. Oh, please. With the way your father acted, I doubt he dated anyone at all when we met. Shots fired, Dad. Hey now, Fia. Don't go spreading false rumors in front of our son. I'll have you know that I was quite the stud back in the days. Cam, just a reminder that we're on the record for the black box. Oh, thanks for the reminder. 
Let the record show that my biceps are out of this world. No, no, they're really not. Oh, but they are. When I pulled that yoke on takeoff earlier, I practically lifted the entire plane off the ground. Isn't that right, Peyton? Yes, Cam. Yeah? Well, let me tell you all a story about this one time involving a jar of pickles. Okay, we need to maintain a sterile cockpit for landing. Let's get you two back to your seats. Off you go now. Shoo shoo. Sir, we're not landing for another couple of hours. I know. He didn't want to get his street cred ruined. Also, what are you doing sitting in that seat, boy -o? Get... Neil... Neil Watts. Fair enough. So, uh... You coming with or what? Nah, I like this view. I thought you were acrophobic. Only when I'm not inside a plane. I'm about to go wrap up this memory and I'll join you shortly after. Are you serious? It's on a loop. Yeah, but the picture from the seat's angle is absolutely divine. In fact, I pity you or anyone who can't see the way the horizon meets the... Don't give me that... Don't give me that cabbage. That was a lot of cabbage emotes. Assuming it was cabbage. Oh my, the plane landed very soon. Thank you for the lovely flight, sir. Cheers. Hope you have a nice day. Hello, little one. Hope you enjoy the... The landing sucked! Uh, yeah, sorry it was a little rough. Not one of my better landings. The wind was... Okay. Aw. Don't worry, man. We'll give you a better landing. Maybe. Let me look at my note real quick. The last landing of Colin's career didn't quite hit the mark. Ain't that a shit. I'm sorry, I shouldn't swear in front of these shadow people. And the children. Hmm. Peyton? No. Hmm. Interesting. Do I just walk through the- Oh, the shadow people are gone. Do I leave? <gasps> Hello, family. Hey. Oh, a fellow cellist, huh? Here, let me get that for you. Thank you, sir. Yay! Are you good at the cello? <laughs> Not really. My wife is the real musician of the family. Beautiful instrument, though. I loved playing it as a kid. Cello. I shall read the cello note. Colin loved playing the cello as a kid. Fair enough. Hello, wife. Uh, son? Fair enough, I'll be leaving. I have everything we need. All the balls. Huh. Odd. You? Weird. Do I smack the cello? <gasps> there we go. I got this. Boink. Badoosh. Skadoosh. Babadook. And that. Alright, good. Them hot, sweet, sweet, sweet puzzes. Alright. Well, if all things are to be believed, all I gotta do is this. Easy peasy, beautiful cover, girl. Goodbye, team. Sup? Dude, I was just... Oh, back to the past. Samurai Jack. whoop chap. Uh... How do we skip to the childhood memories again? And this time the memento isn't even that book. Is there something wrong with the machine, Neil? Huh? No, it's not the machine. At least, I don't think it is. Well, I, I guess at least we know that we can go back now. Let's just hope this doesn't interfere with finishing this job. Relax, we'll manage. Hello, little boy. 
Is there literally anything else left, Miss Miller? Nope. This is your instrument. Get used to it. Oh, wow. You were literally just forced to cello. Loved playing cello as a kid, my arse. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Wow, you belong in a great school. Your childish jabs aside, Eva. And on an unrelated note, this place kind of makes me feel like I'm on the set of some indie French film. Uh, what? What about this possibly makes you feel that way? I don't know. Just a feeling. You know what? I got nothing. Fair enough. If you wanted something else, you should have lined up earlier. Man. Sorry, Squirt. Get used to the cello, I guess. I mean, the cello's not a bad instrument, so I, you know, just, it's all good. Are these little scamps talking shit? No, we can't, we can't party? How about the music notes? No? Alright, fine. Hey, don't push! I got dibs on the violin. It's so light to carry. I'm gonna get the flute. It fits on my backpack. Well, I- it makes sense. You're a little squirt and you gotta carry around that giant cello. I don't blame you. Did you see that? Is he carrying that thing or is it carrying him? Looks like just a floating case from behind. Fair enough. Hey, the trees are inside again. This is old. Huh. I have a feeling these aren't exact replicas of the actual setting. It's as if memories took quite a creative liberty in mixing things up. Isn't the machine built with public domain data stabilizers to prevent this? Eh, yeah, but maybe broken? Maybe. You're the tech specialist. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a look afterward. Well, locker trees, they're pretty much the same thing as lockers. Pretty much. What's he doing? Counting dirt, I guess. You counting dirt, boy? Oh, fair enough. Stop counting dirt. That's weird. Dirt counter? Freak? Wow, I should probably stop making fun of little boys. That's just rude. He's just a small child who just got forced to cello. He's not having a good time. That's just messed up. One could say it's effed. That's amazing. So, uh... Uh... <laughs> oh god, it's gone! Okay, alright, so... The first game... Uh... Ken was like, hey, do you want me to put something in the game? I was like, yeah, dog. Blender. He did it. Uh, asked me the same thing for this game, and I told him to put in a flaming yo-yo. I'm so happy. <laughs> wow, this is awkward to watch. Eva, why do we get all these losers as our clients? Maybe because you're here, moron. Ah, uh, well, that's a nice compliment under Gauze's law for magnetism. Man. Well, I mean, not everyone was the most popular kid as a, as a kid. I get it. I mean, I was hecka popular. I was a cool kid, man. Not really, but I wasn't ever like sitting on one of the seesaws just without a saw. I, I wasn't just a sea. I always had a saw at least, so I was a lucky kid. But cello boy, no, not really. But he does get a good bird friend and he learns to love. So that's good. Oh yeah, you counting dirt. Hello, classroom. Colin. Colin! Uh, uh, the answer is C. What? I'll ask you again. What is the radius of this circle? 
Uh, where's your head at, Colin? Go stand out in the hall. Damn. God, this school sucked. What is this splashy thing? Huh. That could be our ticket out of here. Alright. I think we can reach it if we just... Nah, I got this. Let me find a way. Use the teacher. Go stand out in the hall. What a bitch. Do we... Do, do, do you want... Do you just want to go for it? Let me find a way to get to it. Uh, do you want to push the desk into it? Did... What? What? What do you want to do? Do you want to push his desk? Is that what you... Mm, okay. Hold on. I'll get us that clock. Okay. Uh, how exactly? What, uh... What you gonna do for that clock? You wanna... Do you want some... This plant? Alright. Now watch this. Is that a freaking wand? Wait, you didn't disable the... Mobilaribus. Mobiliaribus. Uh, teacher's deskus. Oh, wow. We're Potter boys now. Uh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And down. You kids just flip and see that! Dude. Reset. Okay, first of all, disable reactive interactivity before you pull that stuff. And second of all, that's not even how that spell goes. But, uh, yeah, it is. Did you see that thing fly? They sure did, you village idiot. Well, I mean, he got it done, just in a very unorthodox manner. That's fine. Poke. And a poke. Oh yeah, there was still one more poke. Hmm. What? Nothing. I guess I was expecting you to start saying dumb things again. Eva, do you know how draining it is to unleash a Kamehameha and a Hadouken simultaneously? I mean, I know I'm a pro, but even I need my beauty sleep. Okay, let's do it. Oh boy. Well, uh, all the clocks, huh? Oh wow, that blew up a lot of things. Nice. Alright, so uh, just shove that there, and then you shove this back over here, and then we're good. Hey, clock. Man, now I kind of miss school. But then I remembered, no I don't, that sucked. I gotta do homework and shit, hell no. Back at the old age period again? Well... And here it is, the perfect retirement apartment. We sure are. Okay... I think I got it figured out. Hmm? I mean... We haven't been just jumping back and forth randomly, right? There's a pattern to it. With all our other patients, we begin from the most recent point and gradually trace backwards. And in this case, it did start like that. For the first few memories, in as old as time, everything went just as normal. But then, we somehow got slingshotted. All the way to the earliest accessible memory. So we cleared that and once again leaped back. To the older times, where we left off. Then, to the other ones again, moving forward. 
and once more to the older time, moving backward. These jumps aren't in a random order, nor do they form just any pattern. It's a pattern of a decaying orbit. It's almost as if we're being pulled in, spiraling towards a gravitational center. A gravitational center, huh? An appropriate context for physics aside, what do you think is causing this? Some oh-so-deep event of melodramatic angst that traumatized our fine gentlemen? I don't know. Maybe it's a memory of that sort, but... Maybe it's something else. Uh, something else? What could be here other than memories? Like I said, I... I don't know. It's just that we've seen a lot of patients and there's never been a memory that's done this. Alright. I guess this isn't one routine then. Hmm. We'll see. Well, aren't you a peculiar little case here, pal? One bedroom with balcony, and there's also an attic for storage. How often do you find attics in an apartment, huh? Not to mention the lake view. I thought the lake is on the other side of the building, though. Yeah, huh? But this unit is on the edge. You can see it if you hold out a mirror from the balcony. Here, have a brochure. What a good pitch, man. Is the area quiet? Oh, yes, ma'am. It's quiet like a graveyard. I mean, uh, yes, it is. Tranquil. Sorry, it's my first time being an agent. Yeah, you're doing a great, great job, man. There's a balcony, you said. Yep, it's got a great view. And given how high it is, you can certainly fall in... I mean... Yeah, balcony. It's got that. Very good at his job. He's a natural. Oh, sorry. Hello? And this is the kitchen. If you pay attention to the walls, you'll notice that it hasn't had even one fire accident. Of course, if it had, the whole place would have surely burnt down, being an apartment and all. Uh, I mean, of course it, it wouldn't happen because y'all seem like careful folks, right? I guess what I'm saying is, uh, fire safety is very important. So good. Look, I'm sorry. I'm just really new at this. I noticed. Yep, I get it, man. You'll get better, maybe. I don't know. Probably not. It's okay. Just try. It's all I'm asking. Just do what you can. You looking at the attic? An attic in an apartment. Isn't it amazing? I think this floor is otherwise reserved for heating and utility units for the building. If something in the building explodes, I guess it'd probably hit pretty close. Okay, I'm trying to feel spooked about the memory leap thing, but this isn't helping. Hmm. On the other hand, it is kind of suspicious that they carved out this single storage attic. Are you saying it could potentially be haunted by demons? Well, I mean, poltergeist and shit can be fun, I suppose, in, in the right hands. May maybe. I don't know. Can we look at the balcony? And as you can see, this is why they call this the Lakeview Residence. I mean, you can't literally see because the lake's behind us on the other side, but... If you extend your head off the balcony to the left, you might be able to see a bit of it. Don't, though. You'd fall off. Okay, on we go. What you looking at? You wanna look together? Okay. Hey, they folded the paper. Huh. Wasn't this just a brochure a moment ago? Eh, I guess he just folded it. What's the issue? Well, if I'm guessing right. Being a memento, it's kind of odd that it came to be without us seeing it. Huh. 
In any case, at least it's convenient. I didn't see any other way out of this place. Eh, we haven't looked all the way anyway, though. So, what do you think? Well, it is nice and quiet. I like it. Me too, but... I would have liked it better if you just didn't talk, Fred. Yeah, that really didn't help. At all. If you weren't my cousin's friend's brother, we would have walked out by now. More like ran out. I'm sorry, you, you guys. I'm just not good at sales. So I'm sorry to be blunt, but are you going to take it? Because there's a deposit fee, you see, which uh, technically I could elope with, but I promise I... Stop talking. Just, just, just stop talking. We'll take it. Mm-hmm. You did your, you did your best, Fred. Thank heavens. My wife was gonna murder me if I didn't make a sale by this month. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure that Fred's got all of his lore and check. You said you're a musician, right? This room is perfect for performances. There's very little room for an audience, though, so you'd probably be playing alone. Which is kind of sad, but I digress. Man, Fred, just stop. Also, careful with those stairs, but they all seem to have rocket hips, no, so no problem there. Yeah, their hips are pretty, uh, swagger. They wouldn't lie. Hey, Memento. I'm just gonna keep smashing this if, uh, y'all's, y'all's cool with that. Yeah, they're fine. Oh my. Well, aren't you a biggin? Okay, so you're going to want the, uh, old paper airplane trick, huh? Hmm. Oh, I see you definitely have limited my options here. Okay, um... It, unless I'm mistaken, I can only move the middle one. How... How... Mm. Oh, the red paper airplane. I got you. Don't you worry, boo. Alright, good job. I just said good job to myself. I guess I just need praise sometimes. Sling back again, huh? Yep, your theory still checks out. Okay, let's place bets. What? Bets on what's causing this anomaly, of course. Your guess is versus mine. Oh, get a life. Dibs on first guess, then. Bet you ten dollars it's about a girl. Suddenly a romantic, aren't you? Nah, just the fact that with these things, it's always about some girl. Not everything is about some girl, Neil. Besides, I think we've seen enough from his own memories to say that he's happily married and... Hey! <gasps> it was a girl. What you doing up there? Yeah, you! I see you standing up there like that every day. What are you always looking at? There you are. So, got a name? Uh, you do have a name, right? Colin? What? I can't hear you! I said my name is Colin! Huh? You're calling what? What? No, um, let me just... Hold on, I'll be right back. God, girls. Neil was right. 
Oh no. Oh, little Colin, buddy. Well, alright, hold on a second. It's Rudog plush toy. Doesn't seem like he's playing with it much. Poor Rudog. Well, yeah, he's getting old. He's got to deal with girls and hormones now. Hey, I'm going to throw this paper plate over. I wrote stuff on it, so just catch it, okay? I was going to say to speak louder, but... Okay. Okay. Here it goes. We both have very similar yelling voices, by the way. Aw, oh, heck. Um, hold on. Damn you, Earth! Some kid has no respect for the laws of physics. He's like nine, dude. Hey! It's alright! You need to concentrate, okay? Just keep your eyes on me and throw as hard as you can. If you try hard enough, I'm sure you can do it. I believe in you. Okay, okay. I can do this. Here it goes. doing it. Oh, no, no, he didn't do it. <laughs> you should have seen her determined face! That's not funny. You can't throw it against the wind, silly! No matter how hard you try. What did you think was gonna happen? <laughs> I'm going inside. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, don't go. So, Colin, right? I thought you didn't hear. Yeah, well, I think I'm actually seeing you on the way to school. What does that have to do with... You go to the one just across the woods from here, right? Yeah? Oh, well, I got to the one just across the street from yours. The private school? Yep, yep. Lucky. Why? Well, because it's all exclusive and costs money and stuff. Oh, I guess. People are all snobby there, though. They are? Nah, I'm just trying to make you feel better. Hey, let's walk to school together next time. Why? Because I like you, silly. You're just the right amount of dumb. What's that supposed to mean? And besides, have you heard about the bear attacks in the woods? No, I've only seen badgers. What'd you hear? Oh no, I didn't hear anything either. But that's why I'm suspicious. It's a little too quiet. Anyway, we practically go the same route, right? It'd be good to stick together. I guess so. Sorry. Bye. What was that? Hmm? She just ran back in when they came out. Eh, it's not that uncommon for kids to be scared of the parents. Back when I was young, I knew a kid who had a one scary mother. Saw her spanking him with a spatula once. Never ate her brownies after that. Hmm. Little girl Faye with spooky parents. Of course. It all fits together. Actually, now, you know what? This is all, this is all setting up for some typical can-gal moments of sadness. The seed has been planted. God damn it, can. 
Can you stop? Hey, pal. What a weirdo kid. Yeah. He's a little strange, but... Eh, he hasn't done anything too crazy, I guess. <gasps> Ooh, another clock. Don't you dare do anything. I'm getting this one. Let me at least take it off the wall for you. No! Just... Just don't. It's not even that high. We don't need to take it down. It is actually pretty close. Alright, well, uh... Colin, buddy, I'm gonna go snoop around if that's cool with you. <gasps> More Rue Dog? On the upside, I wish I had the TV all to myself when I was a kid. You and Rue Dog. Rue Dog? Today's classical guitar concert is sponsored by Meow Blend. That's adorable. Meow, 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 meow. Why can't we have a jingle this catchy? One can only dream. Coming up next on Classics Replay, The Godfather. Hold on. I kind of want to stay and watch this. Would you be able to watch an entire movie from the memory of a man when it was his memory when he was but a child and he is a very old man now. So it's his memory of the movie having not seen it since he was a very small child. It would probably be a heck of good viewing, if anything else. What is this? Oh, that's the cello. Hey, you're playing the cello on the shitter. Cool. Why is he practicing in the bathroom? Because the bathroom reverb makes the sound awesome, of course. You sure seem knowledgeable. Back when I played the triangle, I did it all the time. Wow. Not even the fabled bathroom reverb could save that crap. Yeah, it was kind of terrible, kid. You should just give up on your dream now. It's not gonna get any better. That's pretty much your pinnacle. Oh, by the way, um, I mentioned before about that blender. Uh, yeah, this is that blender. Sweet blender. Totally, totally brushed my memory to check this before. The blender was for a bird story, and it's still here. And it's a sweet blender. I'm so stoked about that. A blurry note from Colin's mom. It sounds a little something like this. Thank you. Mom. Gosh, I do love her so much. Cello box. A Rudog plush toy sits in the bookcase. You're done with him, aren't you, boy? That you are, Flappy. Let me just uh, explode this clock by you. Um, don't mind. You don't need it anymore. Oh, that's new. Some blanks help to remember, some help to forget. Um... Oh, what? Weird. So, I gotta push a blank space... ...through... That's very strange. But kinda neat at the same time. I like it. It's different. And interesting. Gotcha. Alright. I respect this. Huh. Cool. Let's go. 